Hi everyone and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine and welcome if you are new. Thanks so much for coming by for this winter DIY collab. And it is in collaboration with my sweet friend over at Blondie Next Door. She really is a sweetheart. You will love her channel. She does it all. Anything from DIYs to organizing to product reviews to cleaning. She really has some gorgeous DIYs that I think you will love. If you like my channel, you will adore hers. So when you're done with my video, head on over to her channel. And like always, show her some love and let her know that I sent you. And if you are coming over from her channel, I would like to welcome you. And if you are new and joining my YouTube family, I would love for you to pop into the comments and say hi and introduce yourself. And let's get started. So first we're going to start with this little red truck that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I wanted to change it from Valentine's to more of a just simple winter decor piece. So I went ahead and sanded off all the glitter. And if you have attempted this before, you know it is such a pain and it gets everywhere. I had it in my hair, on my clothes. So after I was done sanding it, I just wanted to make sure that none of the glitter that could have possibly been left or the red paint would transfer through or leak through the white paint that I was gonna be putting on. So I just put a coat of Mod Podge over it. And then after it was done drying, I just took a pencil and went over the lines of the truck just so I could see them after I painted them. I pushed kind of hard so that it left like an indention because I knew I wouldn't remember the outlines of, um, you know, the detailing of the truck after I painted it white. And I'm sorry if I lose my voice through this video. I'm actually slowly getting over a cold, so if I sound funny, that's why. <laughs> so I'm just coating it out with some um, white chalk paint, only because I feel like that, for some reason, really hides um, any color that you're trying to paint over. Like, you know how some paints let the color peek through? Well, for some reason, I don't know why, but the white chalk paint seems to do a really good job of um, coating it in one coat so that you don't need, you know, a bunch of coats to not see the red. <laughs> so then I'm doing the same thing as I did with the pencil, except I'm doing it with a black marker for the same reason, just so I could see it when I put my final coat of paint on. And because I could still see a bit of the hearts on the wheels, I just um, went over those areas in, with the black marker. And then I'm taking some of this blue chalk paint that I had, and this is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> I wish I could put it on everything. So then I just went ahead and did a another coat over the white and I tried my hardest not to paint over the black lines but the lines that I did paint over I just drew over again after I put down the blue, the blue paint. And I just thought this was a perfect um, wintry kind of color. It's um, really like really kind of like muted. It can also carry over to um, springtime too. And because I didn't want those hearts, I'm just painting over with white. So I just went over it in white. And then as that's drying, let's move on to the little um, table tray thing that I made. And then I'll show you what I ended up doing with the truck. So I just had this scrap piece of wood that um, my parents had given me. They gave me like a big stash of it. Um, it was left over from a project they had done. And I'm just going to take that and give it a good sanding so the edges are rounded. And then I'm going to use these handles that I had. And I thought I had um, just plain wood handles. They're from like cabinets. But I did not. So my original plan was I wanted this um, tray to be wood color. But because I don't have knobs to match, I have to paint it. So I thought I would do it in white which I was really bummed because I wanted it the natural wood color. But we're just gonna go with it and um, so that I don't have to go back and you know 
sand it to make it look um, a little rough around the edges. I just um, did a really light coat of the paint and tried not to get like full coverage, if that makes sense. So then after that has dried, I'm just taking some tape and this is going to help me um, paint on the black lines. So I did one stripe down the center and then I'm doing two of these smaller um, lines on either side of the large center line. You'll see what I mean in a minute. <laughs> I'm having a hard time explaining it. And you can measure this out, but as you know, I'm not one for measuring. I just kind of eyeball things and go with it. So I'm taking some chalk paint and a makeup sponge. And I chose chalk paint because I didn't want the shininess of the acrylic paint that I have. I wanted it to be kind of dull. So I'm just taking that sponge and dabbing it down the center where I had removed that piece of tape until I was happy with the coverage. And then I moved along to the lines down the side. And make sure you do um, right there on the edges because you want it to look like it wraps all the way around. And then you go ahead and remove the tape and I think it looks really cool like that. And then originally, of course, I was going to use wood glue because I really wanted these um, knobs to stay. But both of these bottles I cannot get into and I can't get any glue out of. <laughs> So we're just going to go with some hot glue for now. And I can't remember if I mentioned, but I did paint the knobs white. And once I can get at my wood glue, I'm going to go back over and pull those off and add some wood glue so that they stay. And I think it looks really cool. I like the lines on, on the tray and you can use this as like a little pedestal stand for decor or you know to put plates and bowls and stuff on for serving obviously you might want to put like a um, sealer on the top now for our next one I'm just taking some of this garland that I got on a clearance sale at Joy and Fabrics and this yarn that was from Walmart both were very very cheap and I'm just going to start making tassels to go in between the beads. And you just wrap it around your hand as many times as you want. And then I use a pencil to um, leave an opening at the top. And then you just wrap the yarn around. And then I take a separate piece and then just tie that with the string that you that you were wrapping around the top and then just tie them together to secure it and then once you smooth it out you can cut the bottom just so that it gives you that little tassel look and then trim off any pieces that might be a little bit too long And then with another piece of yarn, you're just going to string on your garland, however you want to make it look. And then I keep the yarn on the pencil to slide it onto um, the other piece of yarn, because if not, it tends to just get stuck in that um, top part. And then I just keep threading on more garland piece, the wood ball pieces, and then another tassel, and so on. And I did want to um, make more of these. I want to make it longer, but I had to leave. So I stopped there just to give you the basic idea of <laughs> what I was doing. And I think it turns out really cute. Obviously, some of them I didn't cut very straight. 
<laughs> but you get the idea. And here's the truck. I just um, glued on some greenery pieces so that it looked like trees in the back. And then just attached a snowflake from the Dollar Tree. And I think it's super cute and wintry. And here is how the pedestal tray turned out. This one is probably my favorite. So let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. The truck was probably my least favorite one because it didn't turn out exactly how I had it pictured in my head, but that's okay. Well guys, thanks so much for watching and thanks for all of your love and support. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you join my YouTube family. Don't forget to click that bell and click all so that you receive my video notifications and anything I put out there. And don't forget to head on over to Blondie Next Door. I will have her channel and video in my description box. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!